Hey everyone, welcome to Singularity Hardware Order Analysis video 15. Most of the hardware that I'm taking a look at today is going into stock and the rest of this hardware is for client build 5. Starting from the left hand side I have 5 fans from Noise Blocker. Above those I have 2 Bitphoenix Alchemy LED strips and in that little box I have a Phobia RGB lighting system here I have three LED strips for the Phobia lighting system. In this bag I have a whole bunch of LEDs. I have a coolant filter for a water cooling system. Over the back there I have a whole bunch of mounting hardware for mounting radiators etc. Here I have a Phobia 240mm radiator grill. Here I have some ModSmart stripping for modding and you can also see there a kit of Corsair memory. Up here I have some Primo Chill UV red tubing and up the back there I have two Black Ice GT Stealth Gen 2 240 millimeter radiators and underneath those I have two 4 liter bottles of laboratory grade distilled water. So that's an overview of all of the hardware that I'm taking a look at today. Now it's time for me to bring you in for a closer look and give you all of the details. First up, the noise blocker fans. I'll be covering these in the Client Build 5 build log and I've also covered noise blocker fans previously in this segment. This is the noise blocker PL2. It's a 120mm fan. I'll just give you a quick look at the specifications. Next up I have three Phobia RGB 30cm LED strips and these are to go with this Phobia RGB Flexlight controller with infrared remote control and I've actually done a review on this recently I'll put a link on the screen. Next up the Phobia 240mm radiator grill. Now I use these mostly for modding. I'll just get it out of the packaging to give you a look. Now I've actually taken a look at this grill before in this segment as well as the 360mm version. There's a number of different versions, there's different colours, different patterns. This one is called Stripes. Alright, next up the Black Ice GT Gen 2 Stealth. So I have two of these radiators. I'll be taking a detailed look at this radiator in the Client Build 5 build log but I will just quickly get it out of the box to give you a look. G1 quarter inch threads, M4 threads for the mounting holes. This radiator has a 30 FPI which is incredibly high but despite that you can still see there's a decent gap between the fins and I think it must be because the fins on this radiator are thinner. You can see it has two rows of fins per channel and you can see the quality of the black ice radiators there's never any bent over fins they're just perfect also something that this radiator has is these metal plates underneath the mounting holes so that when you're mounting the radiator the screws can't go through and puncture holes in the fins and you know destroy the radiator because that's something that's really easy to do for someone who's inexperienced with water cooling. So it's a thin radiator at 29.5 millimeters thick. But yeah, the, the FPI makes up for how thin it is. So there we go. You can check out this radiator in action in Client Build 5. Okay, the Bitphoenix Alchemy LED strips. I have two of them here. These are the 30 centimeter white versions. I use these quite a lot in my builds because the quality is very good. They also come with a number of different options. Next up, I have a very old kit of Corsair memory. This is a 4 gigabyte kit of Corsair XMS2. And the timings are 55518. 1.8 volts, my god, 800 megahertz. Now what this is actually for is a system that I built around five years ago and it was just an entry-level system at the time 
but it just came back for its first service after five years. It's never been touched, never had anything replaced or upgraded. The operating system is basically exactly how I left it, you know, with the the virus protection that I put on there. It's just all worked perfectly for five years without any problems. So, yeah, it came back for a service and I decided to put another, well, a new kit of RAM in, a 4 gig kit instead of a 1 gig kit. So there we go, that's what that's for. Okay, next up I have some ModSmart stripping and this is very useful for modding, particularly when cutting up cases. So basically when you cut a hole in a case or you know make any kind of a cut, you can use this along the edges. What I have here is 0.8 of a millimeter and 2.4 millimeter stripping. The other thing that it's commonly used for is side panel windows so you know you can cut out a piece of acrylic and then put the stripping around the edge on the inside or on the outside you know and mount the window to the case so I think I've got about 20 meters of it here so that will certainly come in handy okay next up the Primo Chill Primo Flex Pro LRT UV red tubing this is half inch tubing and this tubing actually has antimicrobial properties so you know even on top of the antimicrobials that you use in your coolant you still get extra antimicrobial properties out of your tubing so the the color is pretty good it's slightly transparent it's reasonably flexible I'll just quickly compare the color this is Singularity Beast 2 and the tubing in this build is Fezza Red UV. So you can see it's pretty similar. I'd say that the Fezza Red UV is a little bit more transparent, maybe less gloss. Next up, the coolant filter. So this is the INS FLTR03. And for those of you who are familiar with the older filter, this one has been released recently it's a lot bigger and this one can be pulled apart to change the actual mesh inside you can see the mesh that's installed by default is a lot smaller than the extra mesh that they give you so you can pull it apart to swap out the mesh or and to clean it also so G1 quarter inch threads on both sides. Here I have a whole bunch of mounting hardware. So I have bolts. These are 30 millimeter M4 Allen key button head bolts. I have some five millimeter. I have some M4 nuts, washers. They're nylon M4 washers. Actually, those are M3s. M4s. Got some more M4 or M3 and M4 washers and some M3 nuts and this is handy for mounting radiator you can see there radiator mounting bracket set M4 basically you can use those to mount a radiator into that fan position just there which is a 120 millimeter fan position and here I have a massive pile of LEDs you can see each one is two LEDs running off a four pin Molex and I have all different colors. I've got white, UV, red, blue and green and I'll be sleeving all of these before I use them. Okay, finally the laboratory grade distilled water. I have four four litre bottles. There's two more bottles under my desk there. This is from Biotech Pharmaceuticals. I actually got this from a local medical supplier. And it's for mixing with coolant concentrate. So I have a whole bunch of Mayhem's coolant concentrate there. All different colors. So I wanted some decent distilled water, not just the stuff that you buy from your local store. This is laboratory grade distilled water that they use, you know, in medical procedures etc 
so the quality and the purity is a lot higher which is really important in a water cooling loop okay I have something extra for you while I was making this video the other half of one of the orders that we've just been taking a look at arrived so I'm going to go through this as well I have some self tapping screws all black I have some UN mounts and these are for mounting radiators into your 5.25 inch bays they're actually for 120 millimeter wide radiators there's four sets of brackets here and in each packet there's four brackets and this is what the brackets look like so UN logo just there these holes here mount onto your 5.25 inch bays and the hole in the front there mounts onto the radiator here I have a coolant 240 millimeter shroud this can come in handy for modifying cases because in a position where you don't have enough room for your radiator and fans you can cut a hole in the case and mount the you know part of the configuration outside of the case you can see there that is the mounts for the radiator so that's for a 120 millimeter wide radiator and then the mounting holes around the outside here are for bolting the shroud to your case and I think the middle part is aluminium the black part that you can see there but the white outer part is plastic and that is what makes up the angular external of the shroud that part is all plastic coolant logo just there but basically this is just a nice way to extend your case to yeah, fit a radiator and fans and it's a way to cover up the cuts and just make things look a lot cleaner you also get the necessary mounting hardware okay next up I have a phobia noise destructor and this is for mounting pumps onto it's a combination of foam and neoprene it's got a whole bunch of, of holes in it for different pumps and you can stick it on I also have some phobia stripping and this is for sealing fans onto radiators so you just run this around the edge of the radiator where the edge of the fan is going to be and then you can mount the fans onto it and it properly seals the fans onto the radiator so that no air gets sucked underneath the fans or blown out from underneath the fans so this means better performance because it means more air going through your radiator and not leaking out the sides I use this for a whole bunch of different things when building a system you can check out one of the things that I use this for in the client build 5 build log next up I have some radiator mounting components I'm not sure who makes these but there's four 34 millimeter long M3s and then you get these spaces so what these are actually for is mounting radiators up off a flat panel so you know instead of mounting the radiator down onto the panel of your case you can put the spaces in between and lift the radiator up off it so that the air can get in between so that you can either it's difficult to explain but you can either exhaust down onto the panel and you know into where the gap is or you can suck out of where the gap is so basically it means you can mount a radiator to a flat panel with no ventilation through it that sums up this video thanks for watching Please subscribe, like and favourite if you want to see more.